All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use ND filters with your DJI Mini 3 Pro. Now, if you're wondering what ND filters are, ND stands for neutral density, and basically neutral density filters are basically um, shades or consider them kind of like sunglasses that go in front of your camera's lens and that's gonna help you to actually dial down your exposure. Now why it's important to use ND filters is because when you're shooting on your camera you want to use, especially for video, you're going to want to use double your um, frame rate for your shutter speed. What that's going to do is going to give you smooth fluid motion. So in order for you to get that you have to be using a ND filter especially when you're outside in bright sunny skies. And now let me just go ahead and show you how to use ND filters on your DJI Mini 3 Pro. Alright, so in order for you to actually put an ND filter onto your DJI Mini 3 Pro, you're going to have to hold onto the gimbal and then you're going to twist counterclockwise. Once you twist, it'll basically slide off. And then you have the option to attach your ND filters. So how you're going to go ahead and attach your ND filter is you're going to have it slanted slightly. And then once you have it slanted slightly, you just go ahead and twist clockwise. Then as you can see, it is currently on. All right, so this is the BRDRC ND filter pro set. Comes with a total of six ND filters. So right now we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have ND4 all the way up to ND128. And we have a CPL filter. So what I like about these is that they are nice coatings, look very professional feeling. And it's just going to be an easy way to get your exposure. So an easy way to actually use your ND filters is first of all to actually go to your camera and then put in the settings that you want to use. So right now I'm shooting at 4K. So my shutter is at 1 over 50 and my ISO is at 100. So as you can see, it is very overexposed. Now the reason why I have it dialed in like this is because with this now, I can see, okay, this is what I want my camera settings to be on. So I have to pick an ND filter that can basically allow me to use these particular settings. So based on this, usually for shooting in a bright sunny background, we can use anywhere between ND32 to ND64. So I'm going to, looking up, I'm going to try the ND64. Alright, so looking up, I won't lie, it's a little bit underexposed or a little bit darker than I'd like. So it might be a good option to use ND32. But what I've also noticed is that when you're on the ground, you can't see as to how bright to be in the sky. So I'm actually going to go ahead and lift off the drone. All right, so we're going to lift off and we're going to go high up in the air. And we're going to see if we still find that it's underexposed. All right, so hmm, it's still a little bit dark. So for this particular instance, I just raised my ISO to 200. Yeah, in this case, I'd probably stick with the ND64. The reason being, if I was to actually go to an ND32, it might be a little bit too bright. But as you can see, all you have to do is basically choose the settings that you want and then attach your ND filter. If you do have something, I guess, you know, in between, or maybe if you're using a variable ND filter, you could always use that to adjust. But for this particular instance, I am I'm pretty much fine. Something else I also do to check to see if uh, my exposure is too dark. I change between decent like to normal mode. Okay, so you know what? Judging from that, looks like this is actually a bit too dark indeed. So I'm going to try the ND32 and see how that looks. Currently we have the ND64 attached, so we're going to see how the ND32 holds up. Maybe it's going to be a little better for us. It does seem a little bit too dark. It was bright, it was very bright outside, but the sun actually shifted, so it might be better for us to use ND32. All right, so right now we're using the ND32, and I have to say, I prefer the level that it's currently exposed at. So I have it in normal mode, because what I do to ensure my exposure is correct, I actually use normal mode to kind of get a look on what the camera thinks is a decent exposure, then I switch back to d like So, back on d like and yeah, this looks a lot more um, clear exposed. There are parts of the sky that are a bit, you know, blown out, but that's natural. The sky is going to be very bright, very white. So it's natural that not everything is going to be properly exposed. So yeah, that is an easy way to know what or how to use any filters with your DJI Mini 3 Pro. Another thing that I'd recommend is if you're shooting in bright, sunny daylight settings, you can use anywhere between ND32 to 64. If you're using, you know, maybe cloudy weather or a little bit overcast, anywhere between ND8 to 16. And if you're going for that sunset vibe, you just need a little bit of, um, you know, extra darkness, ND2 to 4 would be a good step. So those are the ND filters that you use in different shooting situations. 
If you enjoy this video, the YouTube algorithm says you love this video right here. 